Okay. Stand by, trying to bring that back up. Sound muted, microphone muted. Oh no, internet just went out again. So can you guys see the string? Can you type to say that you can see it? Because I don't know if it's still continuing or not. I don't know if I refreshed everything correctly. So I'm only going to be looking at Streamlabs right now. Uh, I had to quit out of 5M as well. Because my internet did die. So please stand by. But yeah, if you can hear me, please say. Cause that helps on my end. It helps a bunch actually. Wouldn't be surprised if someone's just IP booting because people like to do that. All right, thank you, uh, Supernova. I could do it, so outstanding. I need to get back in the game, reset everything. I'm not ending stream here just because my internet went down. That's on my end though, not server side. That's triggering. It was uh, reconnecting, so I'm not sure if someone's down the road messing with the internet or if someone downstairs is messing with the internet. Either way, it would be nice if I get a text message informing me that someone's about to do something to the internet, so I'm not trying to do anything. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, that's mine, guys. Sorry about that. I'll try getting back into game. You will hear some stuff because I'm still in the team speak, and obviously everything else, I'm still going to be logging into stuff, so you will hear a bunch of. Some noises, but I won't be responding to them because I'm not in game. There's no reason for me to. And before my internet eats itself into another dimension again. While I set things up, I'll put some music on actually, so we'll be back shortly. If my music would load, that is, it's being a bitch. Thank you for advising me that they skipped a frame. Ooh.
You're gonna be a cunt. At least fucking be a working cunt. No, you're not gonna straight away do it. Shuffle the playlist. Or just crash. That's perfectly fine too. There's some music for you guys. I see you while you fall apart Even though you told me to get back your heart I still spin inside your orbit yeah. You say that I should probably start to walk away I'm hoping that you stop and make me have to stay Cause I'm floating in your orbit Yeah, I'm stuck in your space Just my luck I have returned. I'm trying not to die. <sighs> Someone thought it would be a good idea to mess with my internet and it wasn't me. It amazes me that there are people out there that want to take your IP and boot you offline. If you're going to do that, I'm sorry that you're a sorry sack of shit, but you need to get a life.
also the fact that it is technically illegal I believe to boot someone offline so you know but anyway we're back fuck's sake sound resume microphone activated don't care about skipping frames Toe 17 back tonight. <sighs> anyway, let's get back to it. There's nothing to do. I'm gonna sit here and smoke. I might go run someone else in a second. That's up to you guys of who I run. Because that's not I didn't know who to run, I just run James. I am still dying though, so I'm sorry. It's gonna sit here and die together. The title is not an easter egg, in fact it's pretty much everywhere that you see my name. I'm not going to say it though, I'm going to keep it secret, well, not really secret, but I'm going to not say anything. I'll let you guys figure it out. For those who have an eagle eye. User joined your channel. Oh, I'm actually coming on channel Metro 2. Any available to you now? So 17. So 17, can I please have you en route to 4003 uh, for a vehicle recovery? It's going to be a black and red um, dominator. 10 for show me en route 5 mics. 10 for show me en route 5 mics. Metro turn one out of channel. User left your channel. Fuck, I didn't ask to put me in the MDT. Bollocks. Yeah, I got it to uh, C3, so thank you. Um, I can now do bigger scenes. Am I? Probably not. <laughs> Why? Because that would be insane. Okay, where's 400? Harmony and surrounding area. Let's have me go that way. Can I? I'm going to keep on the road because I'm not going to be able to off road it. Uh, 
Uh, we're not going to kidnap anyone. There's no reason for me to kidnap anyone. The thing is, the way I roleplay is reactive roleplay. So if something happens around me, I'm going to roleplay to that. That's why I like running Tahoe, is because I, it's reactive roleplay more or less. So I get dispatched to a call, I respond to it, and what happens, happens. I don't plan on anything happening. I'm not waiting behind someone who is going under the speed limit to get over there. The thing is with my scenes as well is I don't plan on, I do plan on doing scenes, like large scenes, small scenes, medium. But what happens... Toe 17 to Toe 28. Go. Are you able to take that uh, request from Twitter? Yes. Mm -hmm. thank you. And it's one of those things of I wouldn't mind kidnapping someone. I missed my turn a while ago. I know that. I'm going this way. I'm not taking this girl off road along that bit. And this still gets me up to where I need to go. The thing is, GPS will tell you like the quickest way or the way where there's no traffic. Don't you dare pull out in front of me. Didn't even stop at the stop sign. And then goes on the speed limit. Oof, lag. I had MVA of the radio, so this could be an excellent thing. It's uh, just up here. Yeah. Oh, I have to maybe do a fucking U turn. I'll do the paperwork for it first before I manoeuvre to get it. So is that a black dominator or a red and black? Oh, it's like a black and red dominator. This time, zero, zero, two, six. Um, silence, I guess. S P D M V A Tau seventeen. Let me check what I can do. Because I can go up here, do a UE, and then come down. Because I don't want to do a U in the middle of the road. Because this is too too long. So, uh, but I will be dragging it back in. Uh, 
I mean, I could probably flip a UE. I want to check his stats because I don't. I think he's busy. Oh shit, they got a life flight coming in. Lots of things. Hey, sir, how are you doing today? Fantastic, besides the fact that I'm going to have to do a U turn in a truck that turns like the planet. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to have to go down there, go into the dirt road, and then do a U and then come back, which is fun. Uh. Yeah. Especially with all the emergency vehicles blocking all your opportunity. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind that. Do you happen to know why layer units are unseen? Because I have to put down what are unseen. I got, never got added to an MDT. <laughs> so okay. I can't look. So, so what happened was there was a 1080 suspect crashed out and then he started fle fleeing. I uh, then uh, started shooting at officers. We then shot him. So you can just put down uh, 1080. Yeah. Do 1070 if you like. Uh, what? Officers, do we have on scene? My report. I have to put Elio involved for obvious reasons. As of right now, uh, three ninety eight. Who's this? Three sixteen. Three sixteen. Three eighty seven. Three thirty six. Three seventy three. You're talking too uh, fast, and I write really slow. <laughs> my apologies. Uh, three ninety eight. Three eighty seven. Three sixteen. Uh, three seventy three. That's all the units on scene right now. All right. Whoever I got the units that he got, 42. can you write them down? Because I don't think I got all of them. I did. I have it on it in a bag right now. So, is everything that you want out of the vehicle, out of the vehicle? Uh, yeah, you're, you're clear to tow it, yeah. And uh, why right. don't you just hand me your, uh, grab me the evidence bag and give it to me. Alright. He's probably just gonna ask you a couple questions, so that's about it. Uh, final thing is a liability release form, just so I can flip a UE, come down, grab it, and go, because I got tow calls lined up now. <laughs> Everyone's dying in this state. <laughs> there you go. I'm about to put down my cord in a second. Alright, sir, there you go, appreciate it. Thank you. Again. Cord, thank you. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna email him real quick, and then I'll break. Yeah, you guys. And then DOT, uh, you got my signature, so you're good, right? Yeah. So I'll just be going over the road, flipping a UE, coming back, getting it on, and going. Uh, where'd you want it? Actually, <laughs> I don't want to like drive it somewhere you don't want me to take it. I'm pretty sure the owner is like, I'm like 90% sure he's like gone, so he got shot approximately seven times, so I mean you can take it really wherever you want. I'll take so. it to our yard, if no one comes to pick it up, it'll go put up for auction, if no one buys it, it gets scrapped, so. What's your unit number, Three, uh, what, you're 373, right? 398. 399. See, so yeah, I'll go flip my UE now. Yeah, you're good.
care. Ah, oh, bro, you scare me. <laughs> Who's yelling? I didn't yell. I was, I yeah. was yelling. I'm pretty sure you were yelling. I did not yell. I'm gonna throw another left now. Been, uh, busy at all today? Uh, little bit. Um, we had one tow call, went out to it, it was in the city, or in the city on Route 13, got there, sat there for a bit. Uh, I got you. I code zero, other tow guy code zero, so that was an <laughs> outstanding time. That's not good, I mean. Yeah. And then I got this one, came down here, he was going to also arrive, and then someone requested us on Twitter, so he had to break off. Oh, I got you. If you have any questions or anything like that, just go ahead and email me. It's in the just be program manish at dot lspd at gmail dot com. Thank you, Speedy. Okay, close, that's solid. Chocks and chains, solid, solid, solid. Compartment is closed, winch is locked, sweet. I'm done.
rare rescue as a long boy. So I get put up for crush then. So I might actually speak to Stanton to see if we could in theory actually take an inventory of the vehicles that we tow and just have it as like in our thing as like capitalizes as crush and um every now and again have it set up um have it set so the vehicle cut well yeah like that and then um just have them saved. Or have one person save them like supervise or something, I don't know. Um just so that say like this damaged vehicle obviously if I save it it's not gonna be damaged any more but have it so that people can come down to DOT HQ and try and buy a vehicle. I'll have to talk to Stan about for obviously like, you know, some of the vehicles we get won't of Obviously, always be recovered by people, and do they? You know, they could be put for a uh, state auction, or then just straight crushed. But to be perfectly honest, the better way option is just crush them straight away, save money and time. But roleplay wise, it would uh, be nice. County to tow. Go for tow. Uh, can I have you en route to 3045 northbound lanes? Ten for us, it's on the 13. Uh -huh. Oh, perfect. Ten for I'll be en route two lanes. Ten for. Oh, it's Donovan. Coming out of the channel. It was Donovan! Don't worry, Donovan. We're not gonna bully you. We're professional, Daddy. <laughs> now, um, so when it comes down to tow, for those who want to do dispatching, a lot of us will be in the cab like I am, which you saw. You have to manually add us to the MDT. Um, I've had people add me before I, they even like join the VC or join the thing, and I don't mind that. Because that gives me information before I even get in my truck that I can look at. That is also what I prefer. A lot of the time is um, obviously Don um, hello. Donovan isn't is new, so he isn't used to a tow. But for us, if you, obviously if you don't have the information, obviously you can't give it to us. But the information that we're looking for as tow is vehicle. Um, Location, vehicle, uh, obviously only dispatch us out if, it, if the scene's code 4, because we're, we're showing up on that scene when you dispatch us. Ooh, Zentolo, nice. And vice versa. Um, so we know what to send out. Obviously right now we can only send this out, but obviously when we get a heavy wrecker back. We'll be doing heavy wrecker calls. As well. Or we'll be taking heavy wreck calls. I mean we'll still do heavy wrecker calls, we'll just have uh, uh, local come down and pick it up. Or sorry, county come down and pick it up. While I'm here, actually, I'll leave it like that, and I'm going to take that off. Date. I actually haven't been asking to add me to the MDT, so.
I have been dispatched out to calls where fire haven't arrived yet. And I've been told to wait because obviously we need fire on scene to deal with the car. Um, if it's a civ call, if it's like engine smoking, we can deal with that. We have a fire extinguisher. We carry two fire extinguishers actually if I walk back here. We carry two. We carry a normal one and one slightly larger one. That's one reason why I really don't like taking cars off. Wrecks my truck, but yeah. So, tow wise, not all of us were on MDT. We try and ask, but obviously, there will be times where we'll forget or we won't be able to because you leave before we can. Tonight it's just not my night, I'm a bit half asleep, so... But yeah, so, it's one of those things. We like to know what the vehicle is, state of the vehicle, like what's gone on with it. Like I said, if you don't, like if you're dispatching and you haven't been told this information, or on the MTT it doesn't tell you this information, obviously you can't tell us, and that's understandable. Yeah. So with DOT as well, we have spare winches. So everything kit wise is either in these boxes on both sides. Theoretically, sometimes there'll be stuff stacked here and obviously on the inside. So the rear of this vehicle from mine, it contains obviously all my tools and stuff straps, chocks, and everything on that side along with the um, controller for the winch so I can get in a vehicle and control it when I'm not in near the winch or near that. Also allows me to role play that I'm moving the vehicle from inside the vehicle. This one holds more or less uh, recovery tools. If you have a spare tire but not have the tools for it I'll show up and deal with it even if I'm in this and if it can't be done I'll tow it. Uh, obviously for a bike you can't really have a spare tire. Back here Oh, we've got two fire extinguishers. Um, in the footwell under my chair, uh, or behind my seat is a case of water. Above that is first aid kit, uh, bog standard first aid kit. Character-wise, I have enough stuff on my body. I have keys. I have my radio. The back left also contains a small first aid kit that just contains like plasters and blister uh, plasters and stuff like that if I cut my hand open I can easily wipe any dirt and just put a plaster on it to stop it from bleeding and any other dirt that I may get while I'm working DOT won't go in it also helps me hold my cell phone and other stuff that's why I like this belt obviously that will look like a baton realistically it would most likely be a flashlight instead would have a toolbox in the back and not just in the side. I have most likely two toolboxes. I have a standard toolbox, a specialist toolbox, so obviously one with specialist tools and one not. One with basic box standard tools. Obviously two fire extinguishers. Quick dry is a definite. Um, but that's not always going to be on this. Some of it is going to be on what I call the runner, which is this. So this will have everything else on it. This will also have the same stuff, and ev like literally everything on it. And that's why a lot of the time, if there's two of us on and we can respond together, we'll respond together. It's S A D O T twenty three, not twenty eight. I'm a dick. I've been calling him twenty eight. Is he twenty eight? No, he's twenty three. I've been calling him twenty eight, and he's still been responding. Jeez. But yeah. So everything we need is most likely in the vehicle. I carry spare high vis and hard hats just because if I roll up on a scene, like this is how I kit out my personal uh, rollback. Is because obviously you're not going to get a rollback out of the garage, take a plate, 
off the shelf and just screw the plate on because that takes time. You're probably just going to grab your own truck that has your plate on it, has everything that you would run with in your vehicle. So mine personally would also have extra high vis and hard hats because if I show up on a scene where it's mostly sieves and FD or LEO aren't on scene or have yet to arrive on scene but no one has high vis on or a hard hat and they really should from where they are and what they're doing I can provide them with one I have paperwork and all that in the uh, front that would be in the da on the dashboard uh, on a little block of wood same as my dad's van has a little block of wood in the center that can hold all the paperwork obviously you've got a little computer screen so I can listen to music but wouldn't really do that and so on and so forth so everything that I personally think I'd need while running tow is on my vehicles whether it be this one or my runner obviously my runner is going to have more stuff on it more kit on it because I don't need to worry about taking up space for chains and stuff. It's still going to have chains on it and straps and shocks, but not to the scale of this does. This is more vehicle moving. That's more vehicle like support. Obviously, if no one's able to run support, I still have some basic kit, even if it's not as much kit that I'd like to do my job. Because that's one thing that people are going to realise is, as tow, if we get called to a scene by sieve, because we get called to a scene by sieves, uh, we're not going to, yeah, we don't know if Helio is responding or not, we don't share the same radio. We could ask uh, dispatch if we had a dispatcher in our, in our radio, but we're not always going to have a dispatcher. So, you know, we're not going to constantly be asking those questions of, is Elio on the way? We've got a call, we're going to respond to it. If I were on scene and someone say, hurt themselves, I will provide basic first responder aid. So that will be the same kit that us over here have as first responders. So your basic first aid stuff. Uh, oxygen is one thing that we we have over here but I'm not going to carry with me as DOT because there's no point there's one thing I would carry as DOT and that's a C collar um, yeah for the sole reason of if I arrive on a scene and obviously if I know fire is down the road or fire is coming I'll wait but if I know it's an injury that needs to be dealt with there and then so someone say has been messing around with their car the car's fallen on their head I've arrived on scene and they've only called us out because you know they've only wanted us to tow it but they thought they could fix it. Oh my it. goodness gracious. A bit busy? That was a bit busy, oh yeah. Uh, you know, so... I literally got back, dropped that car off, went down there, got another car. Oof. How was that uh, scene over there? Uh, well, let's just say his car is going to be uh, either game sold or crushed yeah he's 11.44 as far as I'm aware yeah yeah shot MVA from a 1080 ran shot you know one of those things so mm, yeah I like what I was saying if someone's say crashed or wrecked their car but they think they can fix it themselves they'll jack it up and they'll try and fix it if they've only sent us out because they've called us through uh, twitter or actually called us or whatever we're the only units responding and i arrive on scene their cars fall on their head i need to be able to administer basic first aid and obviously their c-spine's the most worrying part is if something's fallen on their head what stance were they in has that damaged anything to their neck you stabilize it with the c collar just don't just keep the C collar on let medics do the rest when they arrive because you know it's one of those things do you know if is am I able to train somebody if I can you know hmm? am I able to train somebody uh are you able to train so I don't know control to active tow. 217. 
Uh, Joe Seventeen, can I have you respond to one zero one zero Great Ocean Highway? Ten four, can you have me to the MDT if there was one, please? Yeah, if that is one, please. Ten nine. Can you add me to an MDT if there is one, please? Ten four. Ten four, thank you. Tell twenty three will be in route. <laughs> so 17 is going to be in route t 5 to 10 mics. 10 4. It's all the way up in player. There you go. Uh, control to to twenty three. Go. Uh -huh. Be advised, I cannot see you in cat if you are in cat. Uh -huh. English. Do you speak it? Do you speak it, motherfucker? No. So seventeen to toe twenty three. Go. <laughs> be advised, gonna be right up at Polito uh, gas station, so we're gonna have a bit of a trek to get up there. to speed up here, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's times like that. So the thing is, I can respond speed limit wise, but I can still take like overtake vehicles at the speed limit, which is funny because this vehicle is now going to get the fuck over because I'm going to go in front of them. Because with all due respect, if you're going to go under the speed limit and then as soon as I go to overtake you and you're going to slam on the speed limit, screw you, I'm cutting you off at that point. If you're going to be a dick about it, like this twat, I'm coming up right behind them at 70 and all of a sudden they're increasing their speed. I'm sorry, no. You don't get sympathy from me if you crash. You get the front end of my vehicle because you're getting out of my way. Yeah. I've been pulled over by a sheriff before when I was running tow, but it was only because I, um, I do like to do like what I call community service. So if I'm out and someone's like, I need a taxi and I'm nearby, so if it's in Sandy, I'll go and be like, yeah, I'll give you a lift. I'll probably get shouted out by Stanton, but you know, it's one of those things of, for my end, it makes DOT look get more of a positive view. I like, because obviously thinking about it, we tow we tow people's vehicles, and obviously on some people's sides of things, it's not. What's the process of that one? Mm -hmm. one zero one zero. Keep going straight. You know, it's one of those things of I like to do that because it makes her relation to at least to that character a bit more positive because they've been helped out by them. Like I like if I'm coming up to a scene where someone's obviously broken the law, I'm I'm not gonna say anything to them, I'm gonna tow their car. 
But if someone's blatantly had an accident and you know it's an accident, you've arrived on scene, they're clearly upset, they've wrecked their car, or you know, they have a problem with their vehicle. You know, I'm gonna try and help them out as best I can, be as nice and as sympathetic as I can, I'm gonna slow down and let them go in front. We should. Oh my god, is that a wild banana? <laughs> I can't hear you if you're talking. <laughs> Let me uh, clean my ears out. Okay, now I can hear you. Now you can hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. Okay, I need that blue car out of the ditch. No on shit. On your flatbed and to play the bass, oh please. Give me a second, I need to write all this down. <laughs> I'm joking. See if he's gonna be on scene. I'll have him tear the car to play the bass. So. Yes. Get a statement from her at least, because uh, Mood hasn't gotten back to me yet via email, so I. We can't do much with her, as she's underage. Oof. So is it just an MVA, or is there anything else I need to put down before I get yelled at about Holy stuff? Holy pursuit. Oh, 1080. 1080? Sure. Did you have Kidnapping fun? Kidnapping slash po I mean, it started over at yonder and ended right here, so I mean... A very short left, pursuit. Three, three laps in a straight away, and then she spun out. And, so, not the Grand Prix then? Yeah, not really. Sweet, I'll get my paperwork out and throw the book out the car. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Um, I got the fence here, it's gonna be great. I mean, to be oh. perfectly honest, it's a wooden fence. Yeah. I mean, you see them tire tracks over there? One of the state guys got his truck stuck on top of the ditch. Like, front tires were over there, your back tires were over here, you know. Hold on. This is very fun. Are you guys still there? Because it says that I've stopped broadcasting. I need to check something real quick. Are you guys still there? I can charge her for a destruction offense if y'all want me to. We don't care about what you charge her with, we just want the car. <laughs> um, um, is that your offense? No. Well, Technically, it's on their, that farmer's it. property, but because the fence is in the way and we have the lawful right to make it disappear, grab the chainsaw out of the out of your truck, get rid of is the there fence. fence. There's a fence uh, yeah. there on our eyes. Yeah. Um, oh, it. She took that thing out completely. So get the magically appearing fence away from me with the magical chainsaw of doom. Yep. And um, then we'll fucking get. A, which... No, what you mean by that is just take that F whatever 50 back there and just eat it to the fence. Basically. Uh, well, probably, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to put a spike in the ground and pull that out to where basically your car is and then drag it back to where my truck is, which is going to be fun. Because it might start leaking oil because the way it's sat, so... Well, they said it wasn't leaking anything. Yeah, but the only problem is, obviously, if I start pulling it, and that catches on anything, it has the possibility of leaking, so... Do you want me to get fire back down here? No, we can deal with it. We have quick dry, so... We have quick dry and fire extinguishers. We have to mandatorily carry quick dry and fire extinguishers with us in case you guys are wrapped up with shit. And obviously, we don't want to waste resources. I don't know who that fucking Dodge Charger is. I don't think they're here anymore, so I might just go county their car for you to be able to move. I mean, I don't mind, like, if that car's there, because I'm keeping my toe where it is. I'll put a pike in the ground, use that as an anchor point, grab my winch, put it around it, and then over to the vehicle, so it basically drags out onto this bit. 
And then from there, I could just drag it over to the rollback. Because why not? Gives me an excuse to whack a bit of metal into the ground. Is the fence gone for y'all yet? Nope. The fence, the fence is there. Just kick my door. Magically disappear. Okay, well she's picking. That's Bernard. If someone can put Bernard's uh, channel in. Actually, I'm going to do one more thing. Thanks, BA. Perfect. Even better. Boom. Sweet, now you're a moi. <laughs> I plowed all the little pieces out of the way, we should be good to tell her. No, because now you're in my way. How am I get out of here? <laughs> Have a bag of quick dry and a shovel yeah. ready, because I don't know if it's gonna. I'm looking. I don't. When I start moving it, when I get it up onto the actual area where we can maneuver it better, I don't know if it's gonna leak from us moving it. So right. just prep for if it does. Um, I'd say put some stuff down just in case now in that little okay. ditch around it, just so if it does leak while we're pulling it, we don't have to worry about it leaching into anything. Yep. Oh my god. A criminal investigation was launched after piling up evidence with statements. Um, we weren't able to search your house, well, because your house kind of did burn to the ground because of a chimney fire, but you know, it happens. Um, but with all the evidence we have against you, So just slap some quick dry around the front end of it, just so if it does. 
and we're prepped. <sighs> That's my nice number. What? Alright. Well, it's hooked up to the winch, winch I don't have a slack in, so right. I'm gonna start dragging it out, just watch yourself. Right. I'll say I'm gonna get, go stand away. Yeah. I don't care if it's about anchor on. Fucking magic. Alright, we got a repositioner. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna put it on straight on this side, just this side, gonna drag it outwards. So it's actually facing forwards, and then we'll then drag it on from there. Okay. So I'll let you disconnect that. I'm going to make sure that it hasn't leaked. Alright. Just disconnect it from the back and attach it and take out the um, anchor point. Just throw it on the bed. Yeah, I know the plate's carrying. Oh, fuck no. <sighs> Do we know what kind of vehicle it is? Because I don't know it's what like it is. like a two door sedan to me. The, yeah, because that helps. <laughs> um, I can look it up real quick. Thank you. What kind of car is that? Like, you call me? Oof. <laughs> My door won't magically close. So you got it all, uh, strapped yep, on. Yep, she's ready to go. I got catch. On this side, and we should be good. Sweet, twist it and then reattach it so we can just drag it on. Yep. It's a Ferrari. Did you just say it's a Ferrari? That does not lock a money. With a P. I was gonna say that does not lock a Ferrari. A Ferrari. A Ferrari. A Ferrari. I mean, I mean, I don't know how. To... Then I'm driving a fucking cyber truck right there. If I ever see you driving a cyber truck, I'm running your throat. I I can't control what my department buys. Ah, poo. I'm an idiot. I don't know how to spell Ferrari. C A R. Fuck it. I'm putting it in. It's just. No. P R A. I R I E. Can you spell that again? <laughs> blue and uh, Fister pink. All I got is P R A, and that's it. <laughs> I R I E. Thanks, Dad. Blue slash 
Fister pink. I'm just putting blue down. Well, I mean, if you look at it in an angle, it looks pink. I don't. Yeah. I don't... Shut up. I don't know. Uh, your job for you. Look at that. Rear touch. Chains. What'd you say, Hill? Yeah, she's already all ready to go. You want me to start winching her? No, I'll do it. Right. Might as well. Success. Look at that, the county, you know, PD tow trucks here for this car. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. wow. Thank, uh, thank you, Speedy. <laughs> ah, yes, physics. My worst enemy. I need my paperwork. <sighs> Fostering children. I heard fostering children. How dare you? Um, uh, that's what she used to do, but now she's got two life life sentences, so she ain't doing that no more. She's gonna be um, living in jail. I mean, isn't that what happens when you kidnap someone? Kidnap, torture times two, domestic violence times two, fleeing and eluding. You could have just let the vehicle burn and then called us down. Is that why it's smoking on the back of your truck right now? Nah, it's fine. We checked it. Um, your fucking truck was up, I'm not saying. <laughs> uh, I need you to sign it here, liability release form. Just what states if, I mean, it states that if you if it does explode, it's not your fault. It's oh, not my fault. Shit. Yeah, basically. Now that the vehicle is on our tow truck, you have to sign this. Now it states that it's under our there you go. You jurisdiction. Don't <laughs> I don't fucking know. I swear to god, your daughter needs to stop texting me, I just got a freaking message. Hey James, it's Mel, can you keep an eye on Grim for me, for the time being? Like, oh my god! Like, no! <laughs> me alone! I'm at work! Don't fucking message- Can you tell your daughter not to message me when I'm at work? Why is your daughter even messaging me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm busy. I've been I've been wearing this suit the whole day, bro. I, I've been driving that thing all day. What's wrong with wearing okay. a suit? It's an unmarked. What's wrong with that? Exactly. I, there's something wrong with that. I just wanted to point that out. I've been riding dirty today. Anyway. Yeah, you've been riding in style. Screw you. My tow truck's got well, uh, I would say our tow truck's got a V8, but that uh, <laughs> two fifty got a V8 in it. It's a Ford, you rev your truck fast enough, you're gonna blow your engine. Bruh, that F-250, right, you can't put your foot on the gas even slightly, otherwise it's doing burnouts. Don't yeah, pull us over. Don't, don't, find me, I won't pull you over. That's up to him, not me. This is when it wasn't actually attached. <laughs> Don't you... <laughs> Fucking... Locals.
He's just smoking a little bit, it's fine. I've seen worse. He did a right on a red, so I'm going to do that the same thing. User joined your channel. Metro and channel. Metro to available tow unit. Tow 23. Tow 23, can I have you en route to 7103 for a black Washington? 10 for, I'll be in route, I'll be about. That is how you do it. 10 4, Metro out of channel, back to radio. User left your channel. Barnyard. Why'd you want the car? <laughs> Barnyard. Hello. Can I look through the windows? You missed the door. Do you want me to bring it around the back or do you want me to drop it up at the front? We gotta clip. We will close the gate. Put it around the back. Where in the back? Put her against that wall in the back corner. Alright. To seventeen. Can you drop that vehicle off? <laughs> I'm dropping the vehicle off now. Don't hit the concrete barrier. Ten four. When you're done dropping that off, could I have you route to uh, seven one zero three? Ten four. Be advice. I'll be around twenty five mics out. <laughs> ten four. Could be ten. Depends on traffic. Ten four. That door isn't important. Uh, I really hope that door isn't important to you. What? What? Well, according to my tow truck, that door doesn't exist. Ew. Yeah, it likes to, well, let's just say our tow trucks like to uh, play with that. <laughs> Play with the cars. Do you work cars. for DOT or Sand Farm? We work for SADOT. Sand Farm is uh, technically a sponsor. I say sponsor, they provide us with some money. We got AAA. They're better. 
would you like me to recover your vehicles when they're wrecked, or would you like to just make me stand there and laugh at the fact that you wrecked your car? When did I wreck my car? Yeah, yeah when? Inevitability. Mm -hmm. It's not it won't happen, it's when it will happen. It's well, not if, it's when. Last I checked, that car was off your bed and this is a restricted area, so... I'm sorry, what? Toe 17... Toe 23. Yo, Where do you want me to go again? Supposed to be 7103. Turn for in route. That postal. <laughs> <laughs> Seven one zero three, yeah. Time. Plate. Color. Vehicle. Customer. Name. Essay. F. Name. Reason. Essay. D O T. Volved. L E O Those cars. I have to get fuel on the way down there as well. Toe 17, toe 23. Go. <laughs> Be advised, I'm gonna have to stop for fuel on the way there. speed limit is here so oh well what building I know what I'm doing probably I have chocolate buttons and I'm hungry actually I have crispy coated peanuts with sweet chili Trying to do multiple things at once and it's not working. <laughs> Bollocks. I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna go to the one on the uh, 13 southbound next to Util. I'm pretty sure I can make it there. Bro, I ain't gonna run into that. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional, probably. I don't know. So 17, toe 23. Can you advise me of the situation on that scene? Vehicles gonna be 1050 into a bridge barrier. Is the bridge barrier okay? The bridge, the bridge barrier is okay. It's a post. It's not. It's like a post on a railing, it's nothing structural to the bridge. <laughs> Ten, four. Do you say nothing structural, it's a bridge? Let's just, uh, it's, the car ran into the, the little post thing, the post is connected, it, like, by, by the sidewalk, should be nothing severe. <laughs> Ten, four. Oh, oh, yeah, you need to clear off this car. <laughs> Why not? You got a problem with that speedy? Eh? 
because of certain things. Okay, so the thing is, sub Tinkerbell. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, the uh, thing is, with Mel's and Grim, technically, I believe it is technically illegal with what they're doing. So. <laughs> Be advised, I'm currently on Sonora Freeway just north of Marmarka Foxtrot. And I have yet to pick up fuel. Mills is 16 and Grim is 19. <coughs> I try not to die here and I'm dying. No cereal. Mel's is sixteen and Grim is nineteen. That's why Grim is trying to make some space now because it technically could fall into illegal, uh, some illegal activities. Nook could get Grim thrown in jail, so that's the problem. Is the fact of in a relationship wise as well is if Mel's really wanted to, if Grim and Mel's end up having a falling out, uh, Mel's could say that Grim's being abusive and stereotypically someone's gonna look at Grim getting arrested rather than someone who's younger. That's the problem that we're kind of having to deal with. If there's someone behind me in that air vehicle, I can't see them. Alright, stay safe, Supernova. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, uh, Soul Tracker. That's the problem, firefighter, is that is Grim can get thrown in jail for a lot of things uh, in that kind of relationship-wise. That's why 
And at this point, Grim now wants space. So 17, toe 23. Go. Look to your right. Your other right. I do not see. Oh. Uh -huh. Yep, here she is. Do you have all the paperwork already filled out? Yeah, I already got the cop signing and everything. Alright, well you'll be filing that report then. <sighs> yep. I've got three... I think three reports on it. One, two, three, yeah. <laughs> I got the one for the bridge, first one. Second one is for the one that I went to that you couldn't arrive on. And then the third one is for that vehicle that we dropped off at the Polito SO, so that's fun. Yeah. So the rest of yours have fun. So I got to put on this one. Just gonna grab the plate real quick. Yep. This plate's really small. Oh, it's BTU. Got it. Yeah, I know. I sound like a dying pigeon. It's awesome. I hate it. Sorry about the dying sounds, guys. It's very unpleasant to hear right now. I'm just gonna do a quick thing. Joined your channel. Control and channel. Break. Two seventeen. Two seventeen is currently unavailable this time. Ten four. Two twenty three. Go. Uh huh. Status check. Uh, available. <laughs> Ten four. Control out of channel. User left your channel. I'm still put on that scene as well. Oof. All right, so uh, this takes us back to the tow yard. They don't want anywhere specific. All right, I'll take it to the ocean. <laughs> Yeah, I could be a dead pigeon, that's even worse. Oh no, when I was at college, there was a guy going mental because there was a dead pigeon. He was just like, no, my pigeon! And we're there like, you crackhead. I'm going to drop this off, I'm going to go 42. Nah, bro. Don't do that.
The speed limit along this road is 70. The only problem is if you're on a motorbike, they'll glitch out and show you going uh, 80 something. If England is a crackhead, America's a shithole. Nah, joking. Um, all jokes aside, America and England are nice places. It just depends on where you are, and what you're doing, and what your view is. So now, if we're going on a joking aspect, I stand by what I said. Sub thought. I'm currently dying right now, so give me a second. Ah, uh, Claire, bring it around the bend. There we go. Ah, the person. Screw that fence. Let me just sign out of tow. Did you do a report on this one? What? Did you did you do a report on this one? What the supercar? Yeah. No, because I didn't tell it. Okay. So if I, I didn't tell it, I've probably not written a report on it. The only reports I have is for the three uh, that I towed. This one, this one, and this one. All right. Yeah. Which means I'll leave them there for you. I'll get rid of my one that's sat here. Well, have a good night. I'm gonna freaking go die somewhere because I got a cold. <laughs> Stay safe. <laughs> you as well. So seventeen, ten, seven, ten, forty-two. Have a good night. Yeah, unfortunately, you said ten, seven, ten, forty-two. Good night. Oh, I'm dying. I'm going to make myself invisible while I just stand here for a second. So I'm going to put the that up with some music and I will be back in a few minutes.
I try not to die. Thank you for the follow, Bernard, if you are in the chat, which I have no idea if you are or not, so that's fun. Uh, I saw someone say Nightthorn, so... Nightthorn, if you are going to bed. If not, I can know what I just said. Uh, that music can shut up for now. I have no idea if I'm still falling through the floor or not. I'm not sweet. I'm going to fly over here for a second. I can't hear anything going on in game, that's absolutely fantastic. There we go. Okay. I'm trying not to die. Blech. Horrible. Everything in my mouth tastes horrible. I can taste stuff. Which I'm glad. But at the same time, I can't, so it's like really triggering. <sighs> anyway. It's grim again, but we're in the cemetery because for those who are in my Discord who pay attention to this stuff, or who are in my last stream, which I can't remember which one it was because I'm an idiot, I went the wrong way. Uh, Grim has another job. She is a grave digger for Los Santos Metropolitan Cemetery, which is this place. Um, what does this mean? Well, she literally shows up here and digs graves. Literally. <laughs> So, uh, for West's funeral, I will be role playing digging a grave before bef the patrol before, or a while before the actual ceremony. So I'll be coming down here, and I will be stood here pretending to dig a grave, and then afterwards I will be filling it in. Which is fun. It gives Grim more income as well. It gives her like, what, two, three jobs? I need to sign out of that. Yeah, so Grim now works there, so that's fun. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, 24 7 worker, student gravedigger at LSM Cemetery. Looks high as fuck without her glasses on. Has it saved my medication? No, it hasn't. Thank you very much, Cad. I still need to get her a suit because there'll be days where she won't be, or well, she'll be attending the funeral. She'll be stood there as part of the workforce. However, there will be days where she won't be attending it, and there'll be one of my actual characters that I can play that will be attending it for obvious reasons so West funeral I'm having James Hawkins show up my DOT character who you just saw me playing because James knew West character better than Grimm does also the fact of um, my character has had interaction with West as far as I'm aware not much but they still had interactions so it's one of those things now before I go anywhere, I'm going to do this, and then quickly change some stuff. Sweet. Well, I'm here, I'm going my bag of food because I'm hungry. That can go in the bin. Anything spicy will always clear your system, sir. And they're peanuts as well, so.
Fuck hey there, stream manager. Friggin' disconnect me and reconnect me. Oh, speaking of which. Riker has a dog. I plan on using it for security. Have it sit at the vanilla unicorn. Just for the sorry reason of obviously if more people start coming in and actually dragging people up, we'll end up having to have a drugs dog basically search people when they come in as a precaution. Eventually. If it keeps happening. It's happened once, so we're not gonna do it yet, but security aspect. This isn't sus whatsoever, just running down the road with a mask on. Speaking of which, I should probably change where I am. Channel switch. Uh. So it grims out the hospital, surprisingly, after ODing. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go to... I'm pretty sure it's up here. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. I think it's up here. Pretty sure it is. I'm about to find out. Let's go that way. Oh my god, it's a restaurant and bar. Jaywalking. I keep getting disconnected and reconnected for some magical reason. So some of the stuff you might be putting, I might not be able to see. But that's alright. You're saying you don't want to be on the bad side of mail. Grim freaking removed her dad's kneecap. Bruh. I'm offended. Nah. Okay. Not this, it's the next one, so. I at least know somewhere where I'm going, probably. Oh, look, it's a ULSA. True. If you say that. Technically, Grim hasn't. She shot at people, yeah. She's threatened people. That's normal. I have now the power to actually kill people, and you'll be surprised if who's gonna end up dead, actually. If push comes to shove. It's a very shitty road for a bunch of nice houses. That's a nice large house as well, actually. Like, bro, imagine living here. It's even got a pool. So this class is trespassing, probably. I mean, look at this. It's not the best pool in the world, but it's a pool. And the, the last a pool. You got a little paddling pool for like RC boats or something stupid. And then you've got. A bigger pool, and it's got a nice. I like that. 
I'm writing that down actually. Six zero two nine, bruh. I'm having one of my younger characters by that place now. Can these open? They can't. I think I have one of my younger characters live there. And just be like, he's rich but dick. Gives me an excuse to play as a younger character that can speak English. Oh, sorry, speak at all. All my younger characters are mute half the time and a female. I feel like I'm trying to tell myself something with that, but. I honestly don't know. Those are trash cans. I'm in the road. I'm pretty sure that is not where I'm going. Keep driving. No, it's not. It's up here. There's going to be a cop that's going to be incredibly confused about why there's a young lady running up a road with a mask of Santa hat on. That, and then a freaking holster. Black backpack. Back, 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 backpack. Backpack, backpack. And so on and so forth. Run, Forest, run. Congratulations, phone. I'm well aware I've got fifteen percent left. You're on sixteen percent a few minutes ago. You you got this. I'll be going into my Discord after this stream to not only write reports for DOT but just to hang out for a bit. So for those who want to sit down and chat with me again, uh, you can go sit in my general in Discord and I'll fucking jump in there with you guys <laughs> and talk about whatever. You can ask me questions, fucking whatever, general talk. I don't care. It's just gonna be a hangout, so uh, relax and chill. Uh, had someone come in earlier that apparently is afraid of me because I'm in SAF uh, don't be afraid like literally ask me for anything because there are times where I'm just like no I don't care shut up leave me alone so <laughs> take it while you can there we go we're here where we need to be Grim needs to come here every now and again because of her ODs she's already tried to overdose in the past so she has to come here and talk to people, so other than that, we'll let Grim go talk to a doctor because she's mentally insane. And I will be I would change that out actually, but because the majority of the patrol has been tow, I'll leave the tow outro up. Uh, other than that, I'm going to choose a different song. Actually, I'm going to choose a completely different lineup of music because screw that. Close out of that. Jump out of that. Yeet that over there, because I'm going to probably forget. So just let that. There's going to be a loud blip of music like that. Just ignore that. It's being a pain in the ass. Uh, what else we got? Sorry about blowing into the microphone, I just realised what I did when it backfeeded into my ear. Ow. Uh, that's good enough as well, I had that. Yay. So, other than that, thank you guys for stopping by. Like I said, I'll be in my Discord in general. Uh, just to hang out for a bit while I do my paperwork. I need to do. Uh, but yeah, other than that, thanks for stopping by. Stay safe. See you next time.
Oh